If my dad's not not Jake Paul out, then, then. This is Jonathan Agar, fifth pro boxing fans, joined by Dillian White. He's just beaten Christian Hammer after three rounds. Uh, Dillian, just before we get into the fight, uh, the amount of people I saw on social media saying, where can I watch Dillian's fight? Yeah. You know, does that go to show that you're still a big draw in this heavyweight mix, even before tonight? I am, I am. Obviously, you know, the, the people enjoy my style and enjoy the kind of character I am. And then, obviously, people can relate to someone with a life story like me and the mindset and the what I bring, you know, and I just try and inspire and try and help as much people as I can, you know, obviously, if people don't mess with me, I'm cool, I'm cool with everyone, I give my time to everyone, I'm respectful to everyone. I was watching the first three rounds and it seemed like, you know, after the third round his nose was uh, bleeding and mm. it seemed like you were getting to him and the stoppage was imminent. Did you feel like that before he quit on yeah, the stool? you know, obviously I wasn't knocking my, you know, listen, it's like, it's like I said, there's so much aggression and rage inside of me these last few months. And I've been calm, I've been forcing to be calm because, you know, I'm around family, I'm around friends, new people, new team. So I was be I was calm and then that had to boil over at some point and it boiled over tonight, you know what I mean? I was the Christian came out start swinging, I was like, I was like, shit. All right, you wanna do that then? But I just gotta learn to control myself a bit better and you know I'm usually gonna control myself and deal with pressure, but I was just I just wanted to beat someone up, man. You know, so things cost me a fortune, a lot of pain, a lot of stress, man, and uh, you know. Well, in terms of your performance, what were you most pleased about? Was it the body work? Was it the the defense? Nothing, nothing. I, I, nothing. That was that was that one of my worst performance ever. But it's just good to be back, and it's good to get back in the ring. You know, it's good to train, and it's good to, you know, it's good to get back. You know, I got rid of that aggression. I didn't get rid of all of it, but but Monday I'm gonna get my dirt back and just bah, that was Tuesday. I'm gonna relax, and then I'm gonna get rid of the I'm gonna get rid of the rest of the aggression. You, you, throughout your career, no, all day. <laughs> throughout your career, uh, like you said in the last interview, you've you've been willing to uh, risk it all for the fans, even when you're in the number one position. Mm -hmm. Tonight, uh, probably not, you know, the most financially beneficial fight, but you've come to no, Ireland. I didn't make no money tonight. I paid yeah. my opponent out of my own pocket, but it's a business. It's a business that you got to invest in yourself. You believe in yourself. You got to invest in yourself. But well, it's all good. I don't, listen, I'm used to ri rising from the dirt. And I understand it, and I'm I'm used to, I'm yeah, I believe in myself, so I, I do what I gotta do, you know, I gotta well, do what I gotta do, man. Well, that was what I was gonna say. You've brought probably one of the biggest fights to Ireland in sort of the last few years. Is it sort of pleasing for you that you've been able to to do this? Because the atmosphere, no, especially when you walked on, I'd was love impressive. To bring a big fight here in the summer, uh, uh, I ran St. Patrick. They would love to bring a big fight here, you know. And I'm just gonna talk to my team about it. Bring a big heavyweight fight here with a better card. And it's all first promotion. The guys did a great job, amazing job, you know. Obviously, massive credit to Michael. For me, he did a great job, you know, and massive credit to the Irish fans. They turned out and there was, there was, a, they made your boy feel welcome. And I, you know, it's, it's great, it's great. I'd love to come here and do a proper, proper big fight, you know, I mean, with proper promotion. It was like two weeks, a lot of people didn't believe I was fighting, you know, therefore, this is a joke. <laughs> And uh, just a word on some of the, uh, you guys on the undercard, Thomas mm -hmm. Carty, mm -hmm. uh, impressive win. Uh, what, what did you make of him? And he also said to me, he wants, he, you said to him or something that you want to fight six times. I would love to fight four times. Thomas is a madman, six times. I need, I need some time at home, man. You know, I need to start some stuff at home, some time with my family and stuff, you know, and relax, you know, give some downtime to my family. And, you know, obviously it's been crazy for me these last few months, man. I've been at home, but my body been at home, but my mind haven't been at home. So now I can go home and I'll probably be bored after two days but let's see mm. uh, just just on the future I know you, you're willing to fight anyone but mm. that Joshua fight he said in Saudi before the Ngani fight that he's he's willing to get in the ring with you again uh, that must be the most appealing option <laughs> every fight is appealing to me man you know if that's a big fight obviously many of you got to finish business we're going to fight each other again. Even if we we're 50, we might come back in the next vision fight. You know what I mean? I think we just have that. We just, we just want to beat each other up, you know? And that's a, I respect him for that. You know, he could have easily slagged me off and said, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But it shows that he's a fighter and he wants to fight good people. And it shows that he is a competitor and a contender. He wants to, he knows that me and him have that, that mental battle and that toughness. And he wants to do it again. And so do I.
And, and for, from what you've seen over the last few fights, is it the most difficult Joshua to beat at the moment or not? Not really. Joshua not going Francis Ngannou don't say nothing about his skill. He did what he should do. You know, Francis hasn't got the boxing experience. He would have learned a lot from that fight. He did the, the fight with Tyson Fury. You know what I mean? He hasn't got the boxing know-how. And, and that fight initially was going to the O2, I think. Uh, you know, surely that's a, that's a stadium fight in the UK. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, I'm gonna rock up a couple of wins and then see what happens, man. You know, if a big fight come, then then let's go. Until uh, then, I'm gonna stay busy and just keep cracking on. I, I know, you know, Wilder's a bit out of the picture at the moment, but you know, that's a rivalry. He's not. He's a big heavyweight. He's still one of the biggest draws around. And you know, me and Wilder get on there. It's a massive fight. You know, but so yeah, whatever. I just wanna fight the best guys, man. If I fight Wilder Ruiz, Wilder Ruiz. Who else? There's one Who's person sick? missing. Who's sick? Then I fought everyone. <laughs> then I fought everyone. Who, who else around can say they did that? AJ can't say that. Fury, you know, Fury can't say that. You know, if I fight them guys, then then I fought everyone around. You um, know. And would you like to one day run that back with with Fury? I don't know if it's realistic because you know. You never know. Heavyweight boxing, man. Another two, three wins might I might put me in a great position to to run it back. So let's see. One fight at a time. One fight at a time. You know, he's got he's got two fights to do. Sick. Then he's got the AJ fight. This and the other. So let's see what. Happens. He might retire somewhere in between those two, three fights, you know, because yeah. he's a big guy and his body takes a lot of pounding. So let's see, and he's made a lot of money and achieved a lot of things. If he beat Usyk, he might have said, "Yep, I'm done. I've won all the titles. Now I'm done." Just quickly, uh, Fury Usyk, have you got any thoughts on how the fight might play out? I'm still waiting to see, man. I'm up in there at the minute. We haven't seen much about their training camp and what they're doing, what shape they're in. I think fight week when they start seeing a bit more, I'll have a better idea. And just lastly, uh, you know, you, you said an exhibition with Joshua, maybe when you're 50. Uh, mm -hmm. Someone who is having an exhibition is Mike Tyson against Jake Paul. He's going to kill Jake Paul. Mike Tyson, if Mike Tyson does not Jake Paul out, then... then Will you finish it for very long? Nah, pff, I, don't, <laughs> I can't fight Jake Paul. Jake, that would be a murder. <laughs> Right, well, Dylan, uh, we'll leave it there. Just to send a message to your fans. Uh, like I said, a lot of people were looking to see the fight tonight and we're, we're looking mm, yes. for your return. I'm very sorry. We were trying to get it streamed, but it was very short notice. It's very hard for TV to get their stuff in the gear with two weeks' notice. Very sorry, and you didn't miss much to me. You just missed Christian Hammer just quitting. So, God willing, the next one will be televised. And, you know, I want to say massive thanks to um to the Texas Boxing Commission as well. You know, obviously, we've been lessened with for four or five years now. They've been behind me and they support me, you know what I mean? So, respect to Greg and Gus. Didn't appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.